Let's remind ourselves about the Dementors. They're dark creatures that feed off human happiness. They literally drain peace and hope from the air around them. In the presence of a Dementor, humans usually feel despair and depression, focusing only on their darkest thoughts and memories. But most terrifying of all is the Dementor's kiss, which leaves its victim in a soulless, vegetative state. The first time we see these horrifying creatures is in Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. <laughs> but when they appear again in Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, their design changed a bit. Most notably, the removal of their dark hoods. <laughs> Expecto Patronum! With or without a hood. Few beings instill as much dread and horror as the Dementors. While any item can be made into a Horcrux, the Dark Lord often chose to use objects of great historical importance. One such object was Salazar Slytherin's locket. The heavy gold locket has a dark and tangled history behind it. While Slytherin was the original owner, over the years the locket changed hands many times before eventually being stolen by Tom Riddle. Riddle then transformed it into a Horcrux when he murdered a muggle tramp. Years later, Riddle hid the locket in a cave on the coast, placing many powerful defensive enchantments around it. But the cave was breached by former Death Eater Regulus Black, who took the Horcrux and replaced it with a fake. The real locket was brought to the Black family home at 12 Grimald Place by the house elf creature, where it stayed for many years. 